all right guys welcome to the fourth java jdbc tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to modify this code in an effective way so let's start i'm going to create a constructor for this class so public just copy the name of this class and paste it yeah there we go and what i'm going to do is that i'm going to create the connection inside this constructor so what i need to do I'm going to declare this connection globally private connection connection yeah there we go and just copy the object what I'm going to do I'm going to provide I'm going to create the connection inside the constructor yeah. ex dot print stack and uh, yeah there we go connection sorry equals driver manager dot get connection I'm going to copy and paste this URL and all this stuff yeah copy and paste it and just print a statement system dot out dot print line system dot out dot sorry connection successful yeah there we go guys and we don't need any more all these stuffs I'm going to delete it out I'm gonna show you how how I'm gonna do and I'm gonna create I'm going to create a separate method for retrieve data so private it's gonna return a list so list string list and get data you can put whatever name you want I'm just putting get data and I'm going to create a string list and list equals it's gonna be the array list array list string we need to import it just hover over to the list and you can see java.util and here also same java.util there we go we need to return a list just return it out so that error is error will not annoy anymore so let's create an statement for sorry let's create an object for statement st equals i'm going to initialize it initialize it as null and result set rs equals null and inside the try catch I'm gonna wait yeah there we go ex dot print stack trace yep and st equals connection that object connection dot create statement and rs equals st dot execute query and what I'm going to do I'm going to just type the query inside this select everything from salespeople yeah. so is enough so far now we need to run a while loop rs dot next and I'm going to add the all all the datas to the list dot add and to do this rs dot first one is integer id so get int the first column is id 
and the second column I think it's a string at the same time it's its name let's move on to the third column rs dot get string that one is sct I think yeah, there we go and the fourth one is a decimal get float and uh, that is commission is enough so far and uh, let's give spaces so it will be looking nice plus yeah there we go come into the main method and we need to create an object for this class just copy the name of the class I'm going to create object database connection so dbc is the object new yeah and this constructor initiates automatically after that we need to call this get method get data method so to do that I'm going to print it out at once so it will be easy system dot out dot print line dbc is the object dot get data that's it now just save the program and run it yeah as you can see connection successful the list is here first column first row is this one the second row is this one the third row is this one and the fourth row is this one yeah we are good to go let's walk through the code once again for you guys what we have done we have created a constructor after that just simply we have created a method which will return a list and uh, yeah that's all and after that inside the main method we are calling we are we are creating an object for this particular class so that we know when the object is created java calls the constructor first any code you have in your constructor will then execute it you don't need to make any special calls to a constructor method they happen automatically when you create a new object constructor methods take the same name as the class method that's what happening right there and after that just we are simply printing print, print, printed out the list that's what happening and that is what for this tutorial and the next tutorial I'm going to show you up in, in upcoming tutorials I'm going to show you how to insert and update the data and I'm going to discuss about the prepared statement and all this stuff so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the thumbs up button I'll see you in the next tutorial